one of the unique aspects of urology is that there are many conditions that are treatable successfully with surgery. You follow these patients over a long period of time, and as you see these people's quality of life improve or their cancer uh, be treated successfully, it's extremely rewarding as their treating physician. What drew me into uh, robotic surgery was that I looked at the robot as a uh, great tool to be able to potentially deliver that care. And then the, the new advent of adding robotics to reconstruction is the special thing we, we offer here at Temple. So Dan has been trained as a virtuoso on the Da Vinci robot, doing prostate cancer, partial nephrectomies, but thinking of the robot for benign disease is something that's relatively new. We have the largest number of some of these uh, reconstructive cases here at Temple. So one of them is buccal mucosa graft ureteroplasty. That is uh, the concept of taking uh, inner lining of your cheek and transferring that as a graft into the ureter. And it was my colleague at NYU, Li Zhao, who really started this concept in a small series. And we quickly embraced this as I found out about this option. And we currently have the largest series at Temple University Hospital for buccal grafting uh, here in the US. And I have to say, I equally love the office and meeting the patients and seeing, meeting them for the first time and also seeing how they do after the surgery, as well as operating on them. Uh, I mean, it's the full story, right? Uh, a lot of times I try to find a connection with them and, um, and I think that uh, makes it extra rewarding uh, when you get to know them as the person or as the father, as the you know, spouse, uh, and to know their story. So my normal urologist saw something that thought was cancer and said, uh, I'd like you to see a specialist. Uh, I highly recommend Dr. Oon at Temple. The anxiety, as you can imagine, when you first have that diagnosis uh, was certainly stressful. And the reassurance really helped the process. So as far as giving back, donating to Dr. Oon's program, he is now training others and uh, the physicians to follow, I'm sure, are going to learn tremendously from him. Regarding innovation and techniques, I think it's important to talk about its ability to become adaptable. You know, it's very important that we develop techniques that are, uh, that can be duplicated around the country and around the world. And so I've lectured all around the world, all around the country, at big forums, uh, with that goal in mind. I think what Danny Oon has done uh, is revolutionize the field of reconstructive surgery. Very early on, he realized the power of the robot for, for reconstruction, which has uh, brought the field of urology in Philadelphia to the modern era. Danny's fellowship is the most highly sought after fellowship in the country, uh, and all of this was something that he achieved at Temple. Well, you know, as someone who did residency and fellowship at Temple, you know, it was really rewarding and inspiring to me that, you know, we were able to take these extremely challenging reconstructive cases and provide a solution for, for these patients. Getting to see that firsthand working with um, Dr. Oon has really been inspiring for me and really has um, helped set the trajectory for my career. Dr. Oon has definitely helped expand my career aspirations. You know, I think initially when I was coming out of residency, um, uh, you know, I consider myself to have been well trained, um, but you know, he's definitely helped broaden my uh, scope and the care that I can provide for patients. Uh, I would say that I'm the eternal optimist. <laughs> uh, if you look back at my story, I grew up here in North Philadelphia. My family did not have means. I feel lucky that I was able to go to medical school, and I made it. And not only did I make it, I went into the uh, most innovative uh, training programs at, at its time to be able to give me this great gift that I now have. And so I hope that that, in, that uh, inspires many students and many residents who also want to achieve a level of greatness and to be able to get to the next level, but also to the, to the patients. I don't like to give up. I always think that there's a way. I'd like to push and try to provide a solution where other people have said that there is none. And so I won't give up on patients. I will continue to think and try and push. And that is probably a lot to do with the fact that, that I, I feel like that's my story.